hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we will work on the login activity and will allow a user to log in into his account so go to the under studio and first of all go to the login activity first we have to define and initialize all over these controllers so yeah first of all we have to edit text and a login button so go to the login activity and here we can say private edit text first one is for the phone number the other one is password then we have a button which is the login button and then here we can first of all for the time saying let's go to the register activity and from here we can simply copy this okay and we will change it for the other one okay which is our copy all this come here to login activity press that here and now remove this uh, change this create account button to login button and the id for this button is login btn remove this name input name okay and then we have password and the id for this is register password sorry it is on the login activity and the id for this is login password input and then we have input number or let's give it a proper name the same which is input phone number and make sure to change the id of each field which i am now changing okay because if you do not change then your app will crash let's also add this loading bar here so that we will be needing also here so yeah that's it and now what next is whenever the user click on the login button We are going to create a method which is by the name login user. So let's create this. And inside this method, first we have to get the phone number and all the stuff. So we can for the time saying I am copying it from the, for the from the register activity and now I can simply pass that here. And yeah, the same name is for each and everything. And also come here and copy the this one phone and this password okay copy this and now paste that here and make sure to change this else from here so if the phone is empty we are going just to tell the user to please write your phone number then please write your password and if both are not empty then we are going to allow the user to log in so inside the else statement and from here I'm going to copy this loading bar and I mean the title and message etc so now it is let's give it a name as login account please wait while we are checking the credentials and yeah and now we are going to call another method here which is by the name allow let's give it a name as allow access to account so phone and we are passing the password to it okay now let's create this method and here we need our database reference so the same we will use which we did here okay which is this one copy this root ref from here go to the login activity pass that here and here now we can simply say first we are going to retrieve either this user is available or not so we can say a listener for single value event new value event listener and here inside this own data change if data snapshot dot child and the child is the user's node so we can directly type it like that but since as you know that uh, we will use the same activity for the admins okay so i'm not going to use it like that i can simply cut this from here let's come here above and here we can create a string type variable we can simply say string and we can give it a name as a parent db name equals to users so we can now simply pass that name here okay which is parent db name which contain users not so this and after that under the users not we have a child which is the unique 
I mean the phone number which we are using for each user as unique okay as a unique key or a unique object which contain all the information of a user so if this exists then we will allow the user to log in else we have to tell the user to please create new account this user do not exist so we can just create a toast message here and tell the user that is account account with let's say add account with this and after this concatenation sign we have to provide the name i mean the phone number that is account with this phone number do not exist then we have to dismiss the loading bar and if you want you can give a suggestion to the user by using the toast message that is please create new account you need to create a new account or the first message is also enough I mean it is totally up to you whatever you like okay so I will display only this first message which is account with this phone number do not exist so yeah and here we are going to retrieve the password and phone number of a user since we will be needing this uh, many times so what I am going to do is uh, I am going to create a new package okay you can simply click here new and then package and the package name will be model which will contain all the model classes which we will create in the next video tutorial also okay so click ok so our first model class will be for the users okay so click here on this model new java class so this will be our user for all the users so we can say users click ok and if i show you this model class contain only one uh, class this model package contain only one class which is users so here we need to uh, get the name password and all the user information which is name password and phone and make sure to use the same names which are here okay name password and phone so here i can simply write private the first one is name sorry it is of string data type okay so you can say a string so name phone comma password once again make sure to use the same spellings which are here okay and now we need to create our default constructor or you can say a constructor with no parameter so it is by the class name users and then these two braces and then two cur braces curly braces and then we need a constructor with parameters with all of these three so you can simply click here generate constructor with all these three parameters and after that we need to set getter and setter so we can say generate getter and setter for all these three so yeah that's it and now we have to get the current user so what I am going to do I can simply create a new package and we can give it a name as prevalent and then click OK and inside this package we are going to add a class which will be by the name prevalent click OK and for now we will just uh, current user so later on we will add basically by using this class we will be working on the forget password and the remember me feature of this app it will basically contain all the uh, common data of a user so we can simply say private static user which is our this class okay users and here you can here it is okay so click ok here you can see that model dot user which is basically our model class model package the class belongs to the model package so let's give it a name as uh, online user that is the user who is going to log in okay it will contain his information or instead of that we can use a proper name that is current online user so yeah that's it and now what I'm going to do is uh, go to the login activity back and here we can simply say users and let's give it a name as users data equals to data snapshot dot child parent node db which is basically the users node then inside that we have a phone number of user you can simply say phone dot get value and we are going to pass the value to the users class so you can say users dot class 
so once we pass the phone number to it now we are going to retrieve the user data that is the password phone and name by using this uh, setter and getter method which is get name and set okay this get name get phone and get password so on the login activity we just need the phone and password so first we have to check if this phone exists and if this password is equals to this and if this phone is equals to this there is no need to repeat the phone number okay because we are already uh, confirmed the phone number here okay but uh, in the uh, upcoming video tutorials we will add the uh, disable account feature that is let's say if a user commits any inappropriate or you can say any bad action in this app then the admin will suspend his account so simply we will work on this phone okay so we will basically play with this value of this phone so yeah for now what i'm going to do i can simply say if user data dot get phone so this is basically the data which we are now retrieving from the database so if this phone number is equals to to the phone which basically a user enter here in the text i mean in the added text which is by the name phone so if this is equals to this phone then it means that this is the same user so what i'm going to do here i can simply then check the password if the phone is correct then we will check the password after that so let's copy this and paste that inside here and user data then we are going to get the user get password okay so user data dot get password so if the password is equals to the password which a user will type in the edit text on the login activity so if that password is equals to the database password then we will allow access to the user to his account to enter into his account so we can just display a message to the user and that will be logged in successfully and if you want you can okay first let dismiss the loading bar and then we can you uh, send the user to the home activity so first let create a new activity it will be our empty activity for now i mean it will be empty activity but later on we will design it okay so home activity the name of this activity click finish where we will display all the products so that a user can search for the product using categories and also for the specific item uh, when we will add the searching functionality so this is our home activity and yeah that's it now let's send the user to the home activity so here i am going to copy the intent from the login activity uh, from the go to the main activity copy this intent from here and we can simply paste that and make sure to change this main activity to the login activity and we are going to send the user to the home activity so yeah that's it and now let's run the app so that we can test it so the app is running now successfully let's go to the login phone number now let's login logged in successfully so i am now on the home activity for now what i am going to do to check the other functionality for now i am going to add a simple logout button on the home activity so that we can test our app go to the home activity.xml file let's first change this constant layout to the relative layout and now you can simply drag and drop a button later on we will delete this okay because we will add our drawer and some other cool stuff on over this home activity but just for now i mean for the testing purpose i'm going to give it a simple name which is logout and the name of the id of this button will be logout underscore btn so yeah that's it now go to the home activity and here i can simply say private button and here we can simply logout button so if the user click on that we will send the user to the main activity so let's come here and copy this intent code from here and we will just paste that on our home activity so from the home activity we are going to send the user to the main activity 
and before we test the app let's go back to the login activity and if the password is correct then we are sending the user to the home activity and what if the password is wrong so then in that case we are going to display a message to the user and that message will be password is incorrect and also make sure to dismiss the loading bar so yeah that's it now let's test the app our app is running now let's go to login and now I'm going to type the correct phone number and then wrong password and also you will change the input type for the password to password so that it will not be visible to the user but first let's test it using a wrong password and see what happens and here you can see that password is incorrect so you must provide the correct password to enter into this app so let's click login login is successful so you can see that we are on the home activity so now we can click log out and it will send us to the main activity and go to the login activity and change the edit text type for the password which is this one okay password and the input type for the password will be text password so now this will not be visible and also go to the register activity and here we have added text for the password field which is this one okay text password input and make sure to change the input type for it also to text password now let's test the app now let's click login and now if you type password then you can see it is not visible I mean this is now in the dotted form so let's click login so if the password is incorrect it will tell us password is incorrect so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and facebook account